Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're doing great. Thank you for being here. So as we know, we have the sun in Aries and Mercury direct in Aries. So it's very fast communication, strong, powerful words, written or spoken. So Mercury is the planet that goes around our sun in 88 days. And Mercury is about communication because it rules over the third house, Gemini, and it rules over the sixth house, Virgo. So Virgo is an earth element energy. It moves slower, um, but Gemini is an air energy. So it has to do with talking. When we have Mercury, the energy of speed and communication in the first house of the self, it means there's a lot of talking either about the self, ego, or it could be being a straight shooter, talking about being very direct, like this is how I feel, no sugar coating, you know, this is the energy of Mercury. Now, Mercury direct is great because you can be, your throat chakra is very clear, it's open, it's um, connected to who you truly are. Um, the self with the sun in Aries, it's who you truly are. So it's your personality. So isn't that a great thing? Um, you have the time and the energy to be who you truly are. And the alignment with Uranus right now, Uranus is the planet of being sort of like a, re a rebel, breaking the norm, um, doing things that are independent, unique, kind of like going against the grain or edgy. So I feel like because there's an alignment with Uranus and Taurus, you aren't going to absorb any feedback or negativity from anyone. You're gonna just feel very free because Uranus again is like the energy of the fool card. It's very free, it's very open. Um, there's nothing that sort of sticks to you in this, in this energy. There is an alignment with Chiron. So little tiny asteroid way, way, way out there. I think it's even, it's, um, it's, I believe it's somewhere out between Saturn, somewhere out there. It's really far. It's an asteroid, but this asteroid sort of goes around and astrologers have linked Chiron to re going through things again in order to heal. So for example, say you were picked on in junior high, you could get picked on again <laughs> and you have to go through it all again to fully, fully heal. And um, you come out on the other side of a Chiron transit very strong. You come out like a leader. You're stronger than you were before the Chiron transit, which is really great. So um, next week we have Siron, or Saturn and Mars conjunct in the 11th house of society and your network, the people that you talk to and interact with, which would actually be third house, Gemini. The 11th house has to do with society at large, big groups of people, lots and lots of people. Gemini, which is also air sign, is more about like your friends, your family, your neighbors, people who are close physical proximity to you. But Aquarius is like global far reaching. It can go, you know, big. So we're in Aquarius, Mars, I'm sorry. Mars is in Aquarius. Aries planet Mars is in Aquarius. It will be conjunct with Saturn. So Saturn is um, when you look at the Saturn energy, it, what it wants you to do is to be your best, to knuckle down, to try hard. Um, now, when there's too much Saturn energy, at, or if it's at a detriment, um, it can be abusive or it can be overly restrictive. It can be like a school teacher who's mean, like a very, very strict teacher. So some people do well with a very strict teacher. Other people don't do well. They rebel and say, forget you, I'm out of here. So um, Saturn energy wants you to finish your goals. It wants you to complete things. And this Saturn transit, I believe is a 40 year cycle, this particular transit. So this is like once in a lifetime 
finish something, start something, finish something. So say you're trying to get your real estate license. You started studying, start studying and take the test and pass. That's kind of like what it is. Like don't start studying and then don't go any farther with it. Um, it wants you to finish things because it's about karma. You'll reap what you've sown. So that's a good thing. So this particular week on the 6th of April, we're going to have a conjunction and it will be aligned with the sun, I believe. So it's very, very powerful. Saturn is like, get things done. It's hard on you. Mars is very personally assertive. It's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And the opposite energy is, you're going to do what I tell you to do. So it's kind of this strange dynamic. Um, however, it's in the air and it's in the society energy. So it could be that you feel like lots of people are telling you what to do. Like, why are so many people telling me that I need to do things their way, you know, and I'm just going to do it my way. And um, it's like rules that can be sort of made up for no reason too. Saturn can be rules that somebody makes up for a group, like a large group that everybody has to follow, but maybe the rules don't make sense. So you're Aries and you're like, I don't want to follow that rule. That makes no sense to me. So that, that can be the energy dynamic of Saturn versus Mars. So when they come together and align up with the sun, it's, it's going to be very powerful because it's about the ego. The ego wants what it wants. And you have to sort of um, go through it. So, <laughs> you know, you, it's hard to say what's going to happen because your ego is two parts, I believe, the ID, the id, and the ego. So there's two parts. There's the ego that is the mirror image self, which can be the way you think about yourself, which might not be accurate, like if, you know, whatever it is. And then there's the, the ego that you've been told you are. So if someone's always told you that you're not good enough, there's that false ego that you're not good enough. But in fact, with the Chiron transit, you're learning and developing the tools to know that you are good enough to do whatever you want to do. So it's an interesting energy. It's about the ego, which is not always bad. Your ego can protect you from, you know, outside forces that would be otherwise detrimental to yourself, like somebody that wants to compete with you and destroy your business. Like that's not okay. Um, you know why it doesn't mean you have to get rid of your ego and just sort of be a doormat. You can be have self self acceptance with Chiron and you can, um, with this particular transit in conjunction to the sun, you can feel, um, karma. Like, so Saturn would be the karma that possibly this, that you can have self acceptance. So you can take ownership of your part. So say you're in a fight with a, a group. I'm trying to think of a group where you don't get along with them. You could take ownership of your part, but that's it. Don't allow, because the energy would be a group would be telling you that you're not good enough, which is in fact not true. Like you can say, this is me and this is how I feel and I'll take ownership for my part, but I'm not going to take like the whole society. I'm not going to take all the blame. So that can be another energy too. Like for Aries, like you don't want to get blamed for things that aren't your fault. Like you can take ownership. Like, yeah, I was five minutes late, but that isn't the reason why like the entire party fell apart. <laughs> like, no, like you, you don't take ownership. You don't allow to be dumped on, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So don't get dumped on because Saturn wants to, I don't want to say place blame, but it is kind of blame. Saturn wants to have like, it's your fault. You did it. And that's why, 
and XYZ, let's close the book. So that's like, it's a school teacher sort of energy. And it's like, yes and no. So you can take your portion of that and um, you, you know, your ego can sort of protect you. Like, no, I'm not all those things that someone's saying about me. And I can take my ownership and say, you know, no, that's, that's not, thank you for your opinion, but that's not altogether true. Or you can say, that's not how I see it. And that would be perfectly okay. Um, you don't have to get trampled on with Aquarian energy. Aquarian energy wants you to fall in line with Saturn. So when Saturn transits through, it wants you to fall in line, kind of like being in boot camp. So when you go to boot camp, um, so if you are in like a boot camp mentality, sometimes you just have to um, accept the situation for what it is and see a big picture. So Aquarius can be see the big picture. This is bigger than you. This is bigger than the ego. So that could be a different situation you could be in. Like this is not about you. This is about a big picture, a big situation. So try not to take something too personally during this energy as well. Um, I feel like it's going to be big because the sun's aligned with it. And the sun is also aligned with Uranus and Uranus, you, you're like, forget you all, like I'm gone, you know, um, you know, you could quit a job unnecessarily. You could, you know, have an argument with family because as Mercury moves into through Aries, you're going to feel very sure about the words you're saying throat chakra. Like it's going to be very clear. So what do you do this week? you can stay grounded, um, focus on things that are practical and real. And the Aquarian energy of a big, larger, something is larger than you, that could be a helpful way to get through it because you could feel, um, what do they call it? They call it like, you could feel like you're being, um, like, someone is trying to dim your light or you could feel like someone's trying to ask you to you know not be you in some way so let's see what the cards are saying for you aries i'm start tr trying to go alkaline for this week because i know if you have too much fire in your root chakra which is your gut you can have um, heartburn <laughs> or you can have um, overall just not feeling well. So you don't want to have so much fire um, that you're sick or you just don't feel well. Okay, so you could try the alkaline um, water too. It's just cucumber water. Um, I feel like if you add lemon to it, it makes it too acidic. So... Um, the, but that's up to you if you want to add lemon or ginger, ginger tea. Okay, so let's see what we have for Aries for this week ahead. What are we at? 1333. So what do we have here for Aries? Please show us Aries. Please show us Aries. The thinking woman. Okay, that always reminds me of Gemini or Libra. Like people who think a lot about details. Um, let's see what else. You do have that Mercury going through Aries, so you'd be thinking about a lot of things. A man holding a heart. Okay, this is nice. Oh, so there's someone here showing you love and compassion. We have patience. Okay, being patient. And what else do we have here for Aries? Walking away. Interesting. So I know even today, like we had the Eight of Cups energy. Ooh, the contract. Some of you could be getting an, a better job with this man holding a heart. And um, you could be getting a better job. Um, if you're single, you could be having some kind of love situation happening. 
So let's see what we have here for Aries. I think my microphone is too close. I'll just put it over here. Okay. So let's see what we get for Aries. So angels and spirit guides, please show us the messages for Aries. Show us Aries. Show us Aries. Show us Aries. The star card, Aquarius. Oh, wow. We have a very compassionate person here. A water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, coming forward, showing that's the main energy, being very compassionate to you, and this is helping you heal. There's something here about healing. Um, the challenge is the star, which means you're healing. Well, the death on the bottom could be a Scorpio. Show me underlying energy for Aries. Page of Cups, receiving a message of love from someone. Happy news sweet messages feelings are involved so the challenge is the star something about a fresh start hope for the future new beginnings eight of swords in the most recent past i feel like here what's happening is you felt powerless over a situation and the universe is coming in because all major arcana are beyond your control. This is God energy. So um, something is happening. It's a blessing where you're taken out of a situation where you felt trapped. You didn't like it. You felt worried. You were, you know, nervous. Ooh, look at this. I just said this. Eight of Cups. I literally just said Eight of Cups is coming in. Okay, so somebody walks away. What's coming in? What's coming in? A hair event. Okay, order, institutionalized energy of Taurus. This is merciful. So... Again, this is God energy. Hierophant is beyond your control. And Hierophant comes in to create blessings and order, um, ethical situations. Okay, so you're getting to walk away from a situation that perhaps is really anxiety in producing for you. Um, wow, you're willing to go the extra mile. Like you're not giving up on something. Your ego is driven to not give up. But there is this other offer, Knight of Coin. So somebody sends you a message, possibly regarding money, finance, or career. It could also be an earth sign, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, wow. So this is, you're looking for this, actually. So... What you're wanting is you're wanting judgment. So you're wanting divine timing. You're wanting God to step in and say, you know what? Take this off my shoulders. And it, it, it does happen here. Um, your ego has been refusing to quit with something because um, you felt like, okay, this is even like myself. You, but you feel like if I work 18 hours a day, I can finally get to where I need to be. And the universe is saying um, we're, they're going to drop you, um, give you a bone, basically. They're just going to say, here you go. You don't have to work so hard. Or you, you don't have to really, you don't have to work so hard here. Um, the universe is stepping in and blessing you. Show me the outcome. Wow. Wow. There is a big victory for you. So what you get so what you get out of this is you go from a 9 of wands to a 6, which says to me you were almost like burning the candle at two ends where you're working hard, working long, long hours, 
refusing to quit. Look, even maybe here, Seven of Wands is like standing up for yourself, fighting for what you believe is the right thing, or you're very driven. Um, these are all fiery ego energies, which is really great. So what happens though is the universe is now responding to, um, to you and saying, you know, it's time for the Aries to receive the blessing that they deserve. So what happens is, is once you get this blessing, you then get to take a step back and say, wow, look at what I've achieved. Um, because if you burn the candle at two ends with the nine of wands for months and months and months and months, you could get sick. Like you could get physically ill. Seven of wands, like Mars energy for too long. Um, it's like eating spicy food every day. Like the most spicy Thai food every day. Szechuan <laughs> Chinese. You're eating it every single day. Like your stomach just starts to like get a burn feeling um underlying is kindness so this is really nice you have kindness i really like that the page of cups is which under you know it's like we have a sweet blessing from the universe coming in um now let's see this is beyond your control so some of you aries are going to be like great i'm going to jump in i'm going to give it everything i've got I think actually you can probably just feel satisfied that you've done everything you need to do here um, and the universe is stepping in and giving you this enormous blessing with the Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Um, crossing the energy is the star. It's a huge blessing. It's something where you have a fresh start, a new beginning, hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true and you get to leave um, some kind of anxiety provoking or situation. So show me Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Ten of Cups. You're walking away to something much better or you're being given this enormous blessing. Um, ten of Water. Total bliss. And it came out with the Sun card. A lot of happiness. Having a bright future. Happiness, joy, success. You're walking away from something that in some kind of way you felt like you're trapped six of coin on the bottom balance is coming in um, minor arcana for taurus energy which is gifts money paychecks um donations to a cause anything like this oh with the fool somebody is giving you a fresh start Ace of Swords, new information, clarity, a victory over defeat. So you're being granted, Nine of Swords was behind that. It was something very um, stressful. Um, you're getting news or information. You're getting this new beginning. Um, you have to take the leap of faith, though, with the Fool. So the Fool is the major arcana, though, for... Um, so once again, like a major arcana is beyond your, it's a God energy saying, here you go. Here's your blessing. Um, you can't argue with this 10 of cups and the sun. This is outstanding. I don't even know how to say like how amazing this is. You get to leave a situation for an enormous blessing. Now, this is a minor arcana of six of coin, which might mean if you're getting a new job, the pay is not like drastically better. It might be a little better, but this gives you freedom with the fool. You get freedom from this. Um, it could be learning new things. Um, the best thing of all is that you go from current energy of a nine of wands, burning the candle at two ends, working 18 hour days, to an opportunity your time to shine right here this is your time to shine so you know it's kind of like this is your red carpet moment in a way because it's like once the movie is done you don't keep working hard like you're done so this is like your red carpet moment um and we do have the hierophant coming in which is major arcana god energy for mercy and blessings 
Um, it has to do with ethical, moral principles, institutions. Um, like I said, you'll find out about something where you don't have to invest your emotions into something anymore because something much better is coming along. So this is an enormous blessing from the universe. Um, the key positions here are showing that this is like um, written in the stars for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries. Thank you so very much for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys so much. You may want to try the alkaline water this week just to sort of keep yourself chill. But I love you all, and thank you for watching. Take care.